Hello friends, my name is Supriya Mughle. I am working as an assistant professor for MBA program at Center for Distance Education, Shivaji University, Kolhapur. So today I am going to discuss about stress. What is stress? Stress is nothing but worry and pressure about caused by having too much to deal with means uh, someone is worrying about something and he cannot help himself or he cannot deal with it that is called stress and what is job stress means work related stress which is typically caused by demands and pressures from either within or outside of the workplace next is causes of stress what are the different causes that can lead to stress there are three types of factors environmental factors organizational factors and individual factors we'll see one by one environmental factors here environmental deals with the working environment at your workplace so suppose someone is beyond the control you cannot control that uh, that thing in the workplace so it will lead to have stress then introduced a new technology suppose a company has introduced a new technology advanced technology and employees always have fear about that technology means uh, how can they manage that uh, will they uh, will they cope up with that technology so they have fear then implementation of it system suppose earlier a company was recording uh, uh, manually everything and they have implemented it system everywhere so they have to record on the date uh, on the computers and laptops so uh, people always resist the change they don't want change in their routine work and they have fear that how will uh, do uh, how will to do it so they have fear about that and it will lead to have stress next is organizational factors organizational factors has divided into three types task demand role demand and interpersonal demand so the first is a task demand it means nature of job what type of job you are doing what type of roles and responsibilities you have in your uh, in your job so uh, for example a pilot and a bank employee so pilot has more stress as compared to bank employee that is a task demand and role demand means expectations of other people from particular job it may include role ambiguity means unclear about the role a people or a person is uh, unclear about his role and responsibility then it will need to have more stress interpersonal demands means a group pressure suppose there is a group uh, and uh, they have to work for some project and they have some interpersonal conflicts in between that group members so it may lead to have stress then individual factors it may include personal problems family problems and economic problems for that they cannot concentrate at their workplace they cannot work effectively and efficiently and it may lead to have stress so what are the consequences of stress so consequences of stress has divided into three types of aspects first is physiological then psychological and behavioral uh, consequences first is physiological consequences of stress it may include headache or nervousness back ache and inability to concentrate means because of stress you may feel having headache nervousness or uh, back ache you cannot able to concentrate on your work then psychological consequences dissatisfaction a person who is stressed he cannot satisfy himself at the workplace and it leads to have dissatisfaction then depression tension boredom these are some psychological consequences that affect your health or affect your mental health then behavioral because of stress 
there is unfavorable uh, behavioral changes the first is absenteeism if a person is not satisfied with the work or he is unclear about his role so he will not uh, come regularly for the work he will uh, absent for or he will irregular in his work so it will lead to increase the absenteeism rate then low productivity a person is not satisfied and he is feeling uneasy so he will not work effectively and efficiently and it will lead to have low productivity then high turnover person who is not want to work at the workplace so he will left the work and it will increase the turnover of the company and ultimately it will affect your habits ultimately it will affect on your behavioral change so it will lead to have smoking habits and consumption of alcohol so these are some consequences of stress the next is how to manage this stress Uh, there are some methods to manage the stress we'll see one by one first is identify the sources of stress means from where the stress is coming you have to identify that then identify which which situations create the most stress means what are their situations like if he is dissatisfied if he is having depression he is having family problems economic problems or he is uh, not getting that uh, healthy environment un uh, unhealthy uh, situations or conditions working conditions so these are some situation that can create the stress then you can talk to your supervisors communicate with with your seniors that i am not comfortable with this job i am feeling uneasy uh, with this role so please train me please guide me etc then you can develop healthy responses try to delegate the authority that will minimize your stress level time management is also one of the important method to manage the stress you have to have one time management then uh, nurture your hobbies you can uh, you can spend the time on your hobbies and exercise is the simplest way to manage the stress which which is uh, really very uh, helpful to minimize your stress so this this is all about the stress i hope you understood the concept uh, i hope you uh, you have cleared uh, the things so thank you so much